Hi everyone, welcome to My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of your community. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel Kelly. It's great to be back again. We have so many great things coming up in the community and I can't wait to share with you. We have two very special ladies with me today that I'm also very excited about. Very prominent business women in the community. We have Victoria Barley and we have Candace Gluen. It's great to have you girls with us and we're going to be talking actually about the business development week but first I have to toot some horns here because <laughs> you guys are too much really I mean look at this I mean these credentials are almost off the off the charts here Candace you've been a Pasco County resident since 1988 you began working in Pasco in 85 at Barnett Bank as a management trainee but you've also been in the real estate business for 15 years excuse me I'm talking to you. I'm talk looking at you and talking. I know. Talking about you. See, I told you I was new at this. Anyway, right? But um, you actually started out as a bank manager trainee, and you've also been running a manufacturing company, Tarpon Springs, for 10 years. Yeah. And over the past 25 years, you've also been Im involved in Queen Chasco. You still are reigning queen, correct? That's correct. Okay, very good. Holiday Chamber of Commerce, Secretary and Board Member, and West Pasco Chamber of Commerce since 2004. This is not a new rodeo for you. You have been in this community making things happen and really mixing with what happens with businesses. And presently, you are with the... Mid Florida Credit Union. Mid Florida Credit Union. I knew you would say that better than I. Yes. And I, I really want you in just a little bit to talk about why you feel so passionate about it because it is different than some of your bank institutions and things like that. And I think it's important for you to be aware of that. That's why we're here doing my Chamber TV. Now, I also want to talk about Victoria Barley, who I love talking to. We had so much in common on the we phone did. the other night, both of us going back, me, many years ago in real estate. But you are the one that was born, actually, in Pinellas County, mm -hmm. realtor in the Tampa Bay area for 15 years with Berkshire Hathaway Florida Properties Group that was formerly uh, Prudential. And you're also a member of the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce since 1999. That's correct. Yeah. You've been honored with an Outstanding Citizen Award, Winner Award, honored as Paul Harris Fellow from Rotary Club of Trinity, mm. and Distinct Honor of Queen Chasco in 2013. Yeah. Mm. So I, can, I, can you just explain to me how you guys get all these things done? Really? Mm. I mean, you must meet yourself coming and going on a regular basis all day long. It does sound like that. But it is a pleasure. It sounds like that. But our business, the business that we do in West Pasco, does become part of a lifestyle. So we get, become involved. I know I do, and I know Candace mm -hmm. does as well. We become involved uh, in business and then through business friendships um, and for development of other, other fundraisers, uh, nonprofit organizations, other businesses to be helpful. And you meet a lot of wonderful people, mm. and that's what it's all about. It's the relationships and people you meet along the way in the past, and it makes you want to do more because you find out of a cause or a group of people, and you say, sure, um, let me be involved with you, or I would love to be involved. And that's what I see as a commonality with everybody, especially in West Pasco. Mm. And we had just touched on that a little bit just before we opened the show today, that West Pasco, there is um, a special oneness would that be describing it That's pretty clear? That's a great clear? way to describe it. A special oneness with mm -hmm. everyone, because we do have a lot of interviewees that come on from West Pasco that share what's going on in the community, and I'm going, wait a minute, where have I been all these years? Mm -hmm. I raised my kids in Pasco, and then the J-O-B took me off way down south, and I was never really able to get involved as much as I'd like to. Mm -hmm. So doing my Chamber TV is just a great venue for me to really introduce everybody that I can possibly introduce <laughs> to an audience. Yeah. Um, My Chamber TV is really about getting the messages out and the importance of becoming a chamber member. Mm -hmm. And you girls have been chamber members for a long, long time. There's got to be a reason for that. Can each of you just give me a couple of pointers on, on some of the things that it's done for each of you in your business? I know you, Victoria, shared that with me just before the show. Can you just share with that with our audience I and can. how important it is? I can. Well, I relocated <coughs> to West Pasco probably uh, 19, the end of 1998. I went into the real estate business in 1999. Uh, I joined the Ch West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. 
Um, at the time, it was ranked number three in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, great leadership, uh, as well as the Rotary Club of Trinity. And within six months' time, at the time, it was Prudential Tropical Realty. Within six months' time, my business was flourishing. And it's funny because I wasn't even from West Pasco. So to be a realtor in a community where you don't know where anything is, is kind of a little odd. But because everyone was so welcoming and helpful mm -hmm. uh, through the chamber, I was able to make my way through to be successful in business, even though I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and I do contribute that to my relationships with the Chamber of Commerce, West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. The friendship, the willingness to help me connect with other businesses, mm -hmm. to help me build relationships so that the whole sphere of real estate was satisfactory to my clients. And it continues to be that. It continues to be that 15 years later. Um, I'm always surprised that I'm actually sitting here and I have this history because I still feel very um, engaged in the community and also it's very new still. It's always new businesses. Mm -hmm. We've grown tremendously. Uh, so we have a lot of new businesses coming in, new opportunities, education, and our chamber provides education and services for businesses. So I feel very blessed to have found the chamber this particular chamber. That's wonderful. So would you say that leadership has played a really big role in that the chamber really takes the bull by the horns mm -hmm. and really makes sure that business owners and the like really get what they need in order to move forward in their business successfully? I do think so. And also they have a desire. Um, the leadership is strong and mm -hmm. older, some mm -hmm. new and some old. Mm -hmm. And the uh, philosophy of mentoring and helping um, is very pronounced within the chamber leadership. So I do think it has a lot to do with it. Um, and with any business, the leadership, sure. you you know, you see people that have gone before you that you would like to walk in their uh, footsteps. And um, in business, it's, it's really unusual that you have that sense of um, uh, confidence and loyalty in a chamber of commerce where you can just go out there and ask a question, can you find me this or can you recommend somebody for this? Um, and the response is good and the quality is wonderful. So I'm pleased, we're pleased. And it sounds like the consistency is there, otherwise you would not have been as oh, successful sure. all these years. Sure, very much so, very much so. Yes, no, I'm. They brought me up. They raised me. The leadership. At the I love Pasco that. Chamber, they I love me. to hear mm -hmm. that. They, it, it's almost in a way of branding. You're Absolutely. branding yourself mm -hmm. by simply getting involved. That's why I'm encouraging everybody that's within the sounds of our voices. If you have a business and you'd like to get it to the next level, or maybe you're just thinking of starting a business, maybe you've just moved here to Florida and you want to get going, join your chamber of commerce. If you're in the West Pasco area, join the West Pasco. There's a great group of people I've gotten to know so many of mm -hmm. you just through my chamber TV and mm -hmm. that's the whole purpose so Candace tell me about I you are beaming with your job <laughs> yeah you, so she walked excited. right in the studio today and this is why I love it and this yeah. is why I love it so w why do you love it mid Florida is a refreshing organization to work for yesterday we just opened our 40th office on State Road 54 at Rowan Road nice and it is beautiful so we are doing our actual ribbon cutting on February 6th or is February 6th the Friday is the open house and on the fourth, which is a Wednesday, is our ribbon cutting with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. Nice. So we want to invite everybody out there to come to either of those dates. Um, more than welcome. But Mid Florida is just a wonderful organization. It's been around since the 1950s, started in Lakeland, and now has branched out. And we are throughout the whole Mid Florida, and we have 40 locations. So How exciting is that? It's very exciting. I'm happy to be part of a great organization. Well, good for you. So. Tell me what you were sharing just before the show about what it is that you do that's a little bit different than, or maybe a lot different than the bank institutions. We look at each person individually or each you know, customer individually, and we try to do the best job for, for each and every one person that walks through our doors. Mm, nice. um, so that's what's really nice, and we're there to try to help them um, tell us what's going on and what we can help them with what's their concern of where they're at now and let's you know let's try to figure it out what makes sense so in other words you 
you don't do like a, a cookie cutter protocol. No, we, Everybody has to fit into this mold. Well, we you have kind of certain, broad, yeah, right, but, you have some basics, right. but you're, you, you. Tell us what your concerns are, where you're going. Where do you want to be? What mm -hmm. are you trying to accomplish? Where you, where's what you've had pause with or issues with in the past? And let's see what we can do. But Mid Florida will take good care of you one customer at a time. I love that. Mm -hmm. That is so exciting. Well, now, speaking of something else that is exciting oh, yeah. is the business development that is coming mm -hmm. up. And we actually touched on this last week with Paul Friedlander. He's coming up, up in our next segment to talk about another business development. None of this was going on when I moved down here in 1984, really. Mm -hmm. There was so much farmland. I, everything is so professional. I, I mean, people moving into this area has got to be really impressed and excited moving to Florida mm. and seeing all the different strides that you have made for families and businesses all coming together because that's what makes it work. I have to show you this flyer. I love this. <laughs> Business Development Week, what's your recipe for success? I think anybody gets that. It does take a recipe. It you know, does. It takes a lot of this, a lot of that, and a lot of this, and a pinch of this, a pinch of that. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this. This is coming up January 26th through the 30th this year. And many of the events are free. Um, but I want you girls to really start, you know, talk about what's coming up and who's who in the neighborhood. Mm. Successful people, highly successful people that are going to be coming and really sharing their secrets. They are. Is that correct? That yeah. is correct. Yeah. yeah. So starting with January 26th, we basically start out with a kickoff luncheon. I mean, this mm -hmm. is the beginning of the year for businesses to kick it off. It's a wonderful way to get out. Um, usually it's one of our most well-attended luncheons. And what we do is we bring in a, a good speaker, mm -hmm. motivational speaker, to speak to everyone to kick off their year. This year we have Clay Clark, who is the founder of Thrive 15 who has written some books and he is very excited to uh, talk about your inner self and how that can help your business. So we are very excited to have Clay um, come in and he's going to, you know, he's trained millionaires and millions of people. So we're very excited to have him right here in our West Pasco community. So that, that starts it off. Correct. And that is at the Spartan Manor. Oh, where I left my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to let, let you in on something. That was where I was kicking up a rug or at least trying to with Dancing with the Local Stars. So every uh, time I hear Spartan uh, Manor, okay. it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful facility over there. You're going to love being entertained, mm -hmm. especially with these guests. Uh, next one is January 27th. I mean, this is... This is amazing. Um, now, this is also a, a breakfast, so you're doing a little bit of everything. So we you've do. got a breakfast with, uh, are you listening? This is Philip Yoho. Mm -hmm. How fun. And that's at 9 o'clock, eight, 8 to 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? I wonder what that could be about. Well, it's truly about customer service. We, we have been led to believe he's from uh, Pasco Hernando State College. And we're hoping that it's all about how to teach us to listen oh boy, to our customers. Mm. Yes. So that's going to be good. Well, the most exciting and additionally the exciting uh, luncheon that we have that day that we have done for 22 years is the successful women in business. Yes. And these are w women in our community that we all know mm -hmm. um, that will be speaking. And Julie Weinthrop with Golden Diamond Source, we're very excited to have mm -hmm. her come. No doubt. To tell, her, tell us her story. It is, we are very excited as well with uh, Riga, uh, Erica Riggins mm -hmm. from Bay News 9, who we all know. We all know Erica and we just adore her. And we have a really prominent attorney, Stacy Kemp, with Kemp and Rouge Law Firm in West Pasco. And they are very involved in the community, helping us grow. And they are. magnificent women that have a lot to share about their, their thoughts and success ideas that we're looking forward to hear. See, this is motivating in itself mm -hmm. just to know that we have these speakers coming in to where you can listen to their stories and where they came from and what took them, uh, how, what motivated them, what mm -hmm. inspired them. And if you can glean just a little bit and, and, and have that as your takeaway, my goodness, this pays for itself. It, it really does. does. It truly does. Taking the time and investing the time. Um, 
and that is that's a ten dollar charge for that with a, and all three are speaking all three will from eleven thirty to one thirty yeah, and it's a luncheon that we have and, mm -hmm. and they will all speak and tell their story so uh, we just charge for the lunch and these are all our West Pasco Chamber members that will be speaking and it's very exciting this is what we offer to our community I know I mean you really. You really went for broke. I mean, you really got some big time names coming in here, and I Very and I fortunate. I love Stacy, mm -hmm. who won the Dancing with the she Local did. Stars yes. with her rocking dance. I love her. She's a sweetheart, and her her whole family is. And uh, it, uh, this is great. So so we don't stop there, and we have, gosh, we have a, a lot going on here. Also. Qu tell me about, which one of you girls want to tell me about the QuickBooks Start to Finish? I can tell you a little bit about this. This is at Pasco Hernandez State College. That's what all the events on Tuesday are at. Okay. Um, and it's QuickBooks Start to Finish. And basically, we are going to have SCORE, which is come in and do a presentation. There'll be two different groups. And the idea is for, to bring your questions. What is holding you up on your QuickBooks? Mm. What are some of the things that people have done to help improve your business? I mean, sometimes people get a little tidbit. Um, you know, you get a box when you buy QuickBooks. And mm -hmm. sometimes you just need to really talk to a person that's used it. What have you done in this situation? What do you found helpful? So it's helpful hints to improve your business. Um, in regards to the QuickBooks. So they're open to questions, bring the questions. That's what it's all about. And again, it's no charge and it's supposed to improve your business. So very people nice. People will come out and take advantage of it. Very nice. So that's Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, oh my goodness, look what's going on here with Marchman. <laughs> I'll let you pick up with some of those things. Um, Wednesday, January 28th. This is uh, the first one is March Technical Center for, at 9 a.m. Right. We bring in, um, this is an event that we partner with the West Pasco school system, mm -hmm. and they basically pick from the high schools, so approximately 10, 10 junior seniors, sometimes a few sophomores, that they invite to participate in this program. And it allows them to um, basically understand and get with professionals on business situations, how to handle that. These kids are getting ready to step out. Some of them will step out and go directly to a job. Some of them will go to college, but you can never underestimate their connections and things that they can get from the business leaders of the schools. So we put together a, a seminars for them. Then we meet at lunch and we have a lunch in where we bring the students to mix with the business leaders and they have like questions that they prepared in their um, breakout sessions. And basically we talk about what What's a, a topic that they want to talk about? Is it ethics? Is it how do you handle this situation? So we have conversation with them at lunch, and we also bring in a speaker. And this year we are very happy to have Veronica Citron from Bay News 9, mm -hmm. who will be talking to the students and um, the business leaders at that lunch. So we're really excited this year. But it's a wonderful partnership with our Pasco County Schools and our young students coming up. And they've got to be like sponges. They are fascinating. The questions that they ask, they are far, far beyond. They, what they receive out of these breakout sessions are amazing because they come to the table with questions that you, on customer service, technology, ethics. And it's just a, it's a breath of fresh air to see how they receive what they've learned in the breakout sessions from their perspective and the questions they come up with. Especially at a young age because yeah. they are learning such valuable skill sets mm -hmm. from successful people that have already been there mm -hmm. and they've already gone through the ropes, they've been in the trenches or maybe they haven't or they just rose to the top immediately. Mm -hmm. I don't know who has done that, but yeah. maybe they have. Uh, but they each have a bit of philosophy to share with the, you know, the young up and coming professionals, which I think is just, it's worth its weight in gold. It truly is. It is. It is to see the children respond, the young adults mm -hmm. respond. They're much uh, forward thinkers, very much so than when I was in school. Yeah. Yeah, they so are. They, they really are forward and they, thinkers. And they remember, I mean, one thing that, say, Julie Weintraub may say, mm -hmm. could stay with them forever. forever. It could be that catalyst that, that springboards them mm -hmm. into that successful future, whatever they may be doing. Right. That's and we right. sometimes forget they are consumers mm -hmm. um, and they buy things. And so we have to remember as a business owner how to treat them mm -hmm. and how they appreciate being treated. When they go in and they've saved their whole summer allowance for whatever it is to buy, and they will take on and they will tell you, you know, it's about customer service or whatever mm -hmm. was important to them. To remember they're also a consumer. 
Yes, that's they are that is camp. that's very refreshing to see that they're participating in this. Mm -hmm. So my kids were um, involved with Marchman because they they graduated mm -hmm. up up in that neck of the woods. It's been quite a little while. Right. They've already <laughs> been gone off to college and started their own businesses. Mm -hmm. So we we must be doing something right in Pasco and County. We are. Yeah, and I think so. We have yeah. to nurture them. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's not always a bed of roses. No, you know, you not. have your little ups and downs, little quirky things, but uh, but we get through it. It's refreshing. I know. So this is all week long. That is really amazing. We have just about five minutes till break. So. Let's skip on through what else we have coming up for this week, too, because, I mean, it's jam-packed. you want to talk about the Expo? I want to talk about I the know, Expo. I know, Victoria really wants to talk about the Expo. <laughs> okay. Well, on Wednesday evening, we do have the Expo. And this is a business-to-business -business Expo with mm -hmm. the community invited, and it is from 4 to 7 at uh, the Verizon Event Center on Trouble Creek and Little Road in Newport Ritchie. Um, we have 60 vendors that will be there. Uh, we have seven tables left, so we're about 56. We're, we almost have seven. Sold out. Yeah, almost sold That's out. That's amazing. So it is amazing. And we have what the whole philosophy is for us is to be able to bring everybody together at one location. Could you imagine being able to go somewhere in January, meet a lot of business opportunity to be able to fill your schedule up for the entire year? Yeah. I'm truly looking forward to meeting new people, new business contacts that would help secure my business calendar for 2015. So that's our recipe for success for that particular expo. We have great food vendors, which is Pit Boss um, in Newport Ritchie. We also have uh, Dulcet, which is a dinner club in Newport I've Ritchie. I've heard about that. We have fire, um, Firehouse Subs. And we have a Cheryl, Cheryl Lee's Family Restaurant, and they will all be providing the food. We will have a cocktail hour, which is Shenanigans Bar, which will be in the cocktail hour. And we have um, uh, about 56 business opportunities, business vendors that are going to be there to share with the community what their business is about and hopefully fill their calendar for 2015. So. That's my goal. That's my desire. That's our mm -hmm. that's our desire is to be able to make those contacts to fulfill 2015 with new and successful business. And that's all as a result of being a member of the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. It is. It and is. It, I mean, you you just flow with this like you know what you're doing. You know what has worked all these 15 mm -hmm. years in real mm -hmm. estate, and you just keep going for the gusto with it. Is this event? The one that has the five, there's five chamber members. Yes, we have we've inter we have we have invited all the other chambers. Yes, Fernando, uh, Trinity, Odessa, Tarpon, uh, Central, and and Dade City. Dade City, and we've invited them all to attend. And, and no cost. With us. No cost. No, no cost. cost. No That's cost, even no better. No cost to attend. The vendors has have a small sure. fee. Sure. Sure. And we will be having a drawing for a tablet. Great. And every one of the vendors will be giving gifts away as well. We will have um, 106.3 will be there live from 4 to 6, so they'll be doing a live remote there for us. So we're pretty excited. It's going to be a fun day. Well, I really hope that it's very beneficial to the vendors so that we sure. can fill our calendars. Sure, absolutely. That's what it's about. It That's, is about. Well, if it's the recipe for success, I would say that this is great menu planning for the year. <laughs> no. Thank you. That's right. Good. That just came off the top of my head. That's good. Very good. <laughs> well, I want to thank you girls for joining us today. This is so wonderful. Oh, thank uh, we you, have, Barbara. We are going to take a, a quick little time out, and I'm just going to say my goodbyes to you, and I hope that you'll come back to my chamber. TV. It's a great venue for you and the community. So thank you and yes. good luck. It's been a pleasure. Thank you thank for you. having us. Thank, thank you. you. I may just see you that time. I hope okay. so. All right. <laughs> We're going to be right back with Paul Friedlander. We have another uh, recipe for success in the community, but you're going to have to stick around to see and hear about that. I'll see you back right after this. The last several years have been confusing and trying for homeowners. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group was there before the housing crisis, during, and we are still here now advising people of their options and helping them choose the best financial solutions for their family. You do have options, and today's market promises lots of opportunities. We have found that there are a lot of questions out there and misinformation, and we want you to know we have answers. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group providing solutions today for a better tomorrow. That loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and 
heard me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Hi, I'm Derek Brooks, former linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. During my NFL career, I realized the importance of giving back and started my foundation, Derek Brooks Charities. We help Tampa Bay youth prepare for a successful life through our college prep and mentoring programs. Our goal is to see youth excel academically and develop strong characters and be better citizens for tomorrow. To further our mission, we've teamed up with Fun Night, a company that gives members access to thousands of nationwide discounts on products and services they buy every day. These include entertainment, retail purchases, dining and travel. Best of all, 33% of every membership fee goes to the charity of your choice. We love being able to save our supporters money while giving them a unique opportunity to support our charitable work in the community. I invite you to consider using Fun Night to save money and give back to your favorite cause. Visit www.funnight.us to sign up now and get a free 30-day trial. Save money, help others with Fun Night, and support Derrick Brooks Charity. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen.
Hi everyone, welcome back to My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks for joining us. We are the heartbeat of our community. In case you haven't noticed, we share a lot of what's going on in the community. Great events, ribbon cuttings, and so much more. And of course, we have a very special guest again. <laughs> Two weeks in a row, Mr. Paul uh, Friedlander. No, it seems like it. How do we do that? <laughs> That's uh, awesome. It's just because I'm so shy. <laughs> is that what it was? That's what it is. I, well, don't worry, it'll be okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Good. We're going to kind of pick up where the girls left off talking about product de or business development week. I always have product on my mind. What can I tell you? Anyway, um, we still have a few little things I'm going to let you go ahead and cover. And then there's yet another yes, event that's is. going there's to be something coming. something exciting coming up this Saturday. This Saturday. Pre-starting pre business development week. So it is going to be six days of just some absolutely phenomenal opportunities in West Pasco for the businesses to get their name out there and to let the consumer know what they're all about. And, and that's what, the, like, as Chip Wickmanowski says, this chamber means business, and that's what it's all about. Yes. Some of the things that, during Business Development Week, we have on Monday in the evening from 5.30 to 7.30, there's going to, how to improve your business through technology. Oh, that's boy, be, I need that. I, that's, exactly, that's <laughs> I know gonna, I need that's that. That's a gentleman by the name of Jim Karam who used to be with AT&T, but uh -huh. is now with SCORE. Uh-huh. And you will leave, that's a totally free seminar, and you will leave there with not only live links to help you with the technology piece, but you'll leave there with probably about 30 or $40 worth of actual books that will be no cost to you. That's pretty amazing. So that'll be, that'll be phenomenal. Then, as they mentioned, the QuickBooks, but when we get over, we talked about the Expo and about Marchman, the Education Day, which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But during that day over at Rasmussen College, We've got uh, a couple of ladies talk about how to demystify the rules for business expenses. Mm -hmm. We've got somebody from PHSC talking about time management tips. Mm. We've got somebody talking about the X factor preparing for the experience economy. Uh, I love that. I love that. And we have somebody also from PHSC talking about communicating for success. And those will all be offered at Rasmussen College up on Little Road. And that's part of the expo. This is all part of that's Business next, Development Week. It's next week. It's all part of the expo and everything yes. else that's going on. All four of those that I mentioned are all free seminars for the, any business. And you know what? We open it up to the community. So if, if you're not a chamber member, we're giving you an opportunity to see what this chamber does for you and how it works. And then you might want to become a chamber member. The other thing that's really neat, we didn't get the girls didn't get a chance to talk to you about Thursday. But on Thursday the 29th, starting in the morning at 7.30 at Seven Springs Golf and Country Club, we have what we call the Success Stories Breakfast. These are three people that have been involved with the chamber for, in most cases, 20 plus years. And we're going to hear from Rich Beckish, who is the president of Spring Engineering, and talking about his success and all that. We're going to hear from Cami Austin, who's a senior VP over at um, Synovus Bank and a community executive involved in many things in the community, as well as Dr. David Dempsey, who's one of our dentists that's involved in the community. So that's, nice. a, that's a breakfast that we actually get together and we combine it with uh, Seven Springs Rotary Club that also meets that morning. So nice. it's a fun, fun morning and it gives you an opportunity to meet a lot of, again, new people that you may have not met before. Well, you know, it's interesting. I'm glad that you shared that because as I was talking with the girls, when you hear inspirational stories, they can motivate you and it only takes one story or one little takeaway yep. from an event, a breakfast like this. It, that could really be mind-blowing. Yeah, I call it the grocery store effect. If you don't want it, you don't take it off the shelf. There you but go. When you leave somewhere, it may have been an hour where you didn't get anything, but you got that one nugget. Oh, just one That's nugget. So you, exactly. bet. you bet. You bet. That afternoon in the Sunset Room at the West Pasco Board of Realtors, we have from 11.30 to 1.30, again, it's a $10 luncheon, but we have Paula O'Neill, our county clerk of courts, mm -hmm. as well as Nikki Alvarez Souls, who's the chief operations officer. And they're going to be talking about, Paula, i got to give Paula credit, she put this title together. It's the Menu of Gourmet Government E-Services to Satisfy Every Bite, B-Y-T-E, Hungry Business. How cute. I and, love that. And if anybody's heard Paula talk, Nikki I know is also good, but if anybody's heard Paula talk, that is a, a luncheon that you need to be at. And that's on Thursday from 11.30 to 1.30 at wow. the Sunset Room. Power packs. Yes. And then West Pasco is doing what we are calling the Smart Start Challenge, which is a takeoff of the Shark Tank. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we have vetted out, I believe, eight or nine businesses, either new or existing, that are looking to move forward. 
and they're going to vet those down to three people, and we have up to about ten thousand dollars worth of things of, of of dollars that we will give them to get these businesses rolling. Now that sounds like fun and too. That'll be not only does that from two to five, but from five to seven. If you've not seen the Smart Start Incubator in downtown Newport Ritchie. There's a reception and a tour, and that'll be well worth it. Again, there's no cost for these. And, it'll and be where a reception. is that? That's at the Smart Start Incubator, which okay. is the old post office, I believe. Which really? Is right, right off right off Orange Lakes. No kidding. Right that's, off Orange Lakes. That's yep. how long it's been since I've been up that way, I'm embarrassed and to the, say. And the last thing I'll mention before we move on to what's going on Saturday, Friday morning, Quality Inn and Suites, 8 to 9.30, be a breakfast, no charge for that. How the heck do I use social media oh, I need to, be to get more clients? And that's going to be a young lady by the name of Jill Celeste, and that will be a phenomenal workshop for oh, people. Oh, that will be, definitely, because it's all about social media, right? Yeah, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention one of our partners during Business Development Week with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce, one, one of many, is the Pasco Economic Development Council, the PEDC, who's involved in the Smart Start Incubator. They're going to be out in San Antonio at the Tampa Bay Country Club from 11 to 1 p.m., they have the equity, strat equity Strategy Outlook for 2015. Scott Wren, who's the Managing Director and Senior Equity Strategist for Wells Fargo Advisors, will be telling us what exciting things we have to look forward to in 2015 as the economy starts to grow. Nice. And wow. And so there is a, it is That's a packed week. A, a whole week. I mean, think about it. And that is what My Chamber TV is all about, is really bringing to you all these events. I mean, you can pick and choose, go to everything, become a member of your chamber. Check out West Pasco Chamber. Now, speaking of which... We also have coming up this Saturday, which yes. I am going to attend. And I'm our, looking forward. Our, our buddy, who's one of the lead horses on this, Miss Debbie Dawson. Debbie with Dawson Home rocks, you bet. And also a good friend of the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. It's being hosted by Remax Advantage. Mm -hmm. It's this coming Saturday. It's Trinity Growth and Development Day. It's connecting home and community. And it will be from 10 to 3 o'clock, 10, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's in the Trinity Village Center, which is right behind the IHOP and the Bonefish Grill at the corner of 54 and Duck Slough. Okay, I know exactly where that is. And Very it good. Will be a phenomenal, it'll be a phenomenal function. I'm going to sort of cheat here because I want to make sure I don't miss anything because okay. there really are a lot of things going on. It's a day of family fun, too. It's not just there will be 50-plus vendors out there, but it's a family fun day, and there will be a lot of things for the kids to do. We're going to have... Um, Home Depot is going to offer, if you've not done it before, Home Depot comes out and offers their, they have a mobile crafts oh, really? group that come out and the kids can actually oh, build stuff with like, I think the last time they were building like toolboxes oh. and things like that. So it's really, really neat. Pasco County Animal Services will be on hand with their mobile adoption bus. Uh -huh. um, miniature golf is going to be courtesy of Seven Springs Golf and Country Club. There'll be some putt-putt out there for the kids. There's going to be um, up DJ Brownie's going to be there with popular tunes there's going to be and children can enjoy they're going to have people out there that paint their faces too that sounds like way too much it's fun. a lot of local talented artists more importantly along with the sponsorship of the home depot pasco county remax one of the things that remax prides themselves on and this is remax advantage but remax family mm -hmm. has always been a strong supporter of the children's miracle network yes and that is something that is good they're going to do through this and just to give you some facts the commitment of the REMAX family hospitals demonstrates the power of many makes a difference, which is the true secret behind the REMAX relationship with the Children's Miracle Network. And I was involved with REMAX years ago down in Manatee, and they used to host a golf tournament for this. But listen to this number. Individual donations of thousands of associates amount to millions of dollars each year for children. More than $123 million has been raised by thousands of REMAX associates in offices since 1992. Wow. So they've raised wow. over $100 million for the Children's Miracle. That Network. is amazing. And what's neat about that is that it stay, each one that raises stays in the in the area that the money is raised for those children's hospitals. Nice, nice. That I love to hear that. And that's one of the reasons why I love to support something like this and we'll be showing up that Saturday as well. And you know, bringing the community together, we were just talking about that in yes. the first segment with the girls. It's This is what just motivates me to keep keep on keeping on and, and bringing people like yourself on to really share the passion and that 
that oneness I was calling it earlier it's just a oneness with West Pasco with the community and how everybody really does gel they gel together and as we've moved forward with even like with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce that you know this chamber means business we've come to understand that it's not only what the chamber what they can get out of the chamber but it's what can the chamber do in return to give you some traction to help you we talked sure. a little bit about this the last time what can we do to make a cold call a warm call for you what can we do to introduce you to somebody that enlarges your um, circle of influence mm -hmm. so what you do is you have businesses helping business a couple of really key points that that I want to bring up is that performing live is going to be Adrian Ray who's a Nashville recording artist that's going to be this Saturday so that's that should fun. be awesome yeah and based on this picture there I'm thinking the girls are going to like him I, I maybe <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. But here's the thing that's happening, and this is why the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce is so excited about this event. In the next two to three years, it's estimated that nine to 12,000 homes are going to be developed in the Trinity area. Oh, I believe that. And what that means is businesses mm -hmm. and restaurants mm -hmm. and hotels. And again, that is why the support for that Trinity area, even though, yes, we are the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce, that Trinity area is a very important part of, of what we do and how we get our members involved. Absolutely. And so you've got that happening. The other thing that's going to be neat this, to talk about that a little bit are going to be our county commissioners. And you're going to have, um, well, you're going to have Mike Wells Sr. out there. Mike Wells Sr. is actually the property appraiser for Pasco County. But you're going to have our two new guys, our two new young guys from the county commission, Mike Wells and Mike Moore. And then Jack, if you're listening, we got the old guy Jack Mariano coming out to talk with us also. So, well, it's going to be it's going to be a really power packed day, and yeah. it should be. And the cool, the neat thing is, it'll be power packed for the adults that understand the business side, and there's going to be a ton of fun for the kids. Oh, that I mean, that's really great for for and it's like family day, really. Family brings their kids and and keeps them busy, but yet they're still accomplishing something for their business. And again, 50 local businesses are going to be represented out there this weekend. 50. And they're wow. going to be one and so that I don't miss any names, we have um Ketchup is the clown that's going to be out there. Oh, how cute. <laughs> how cute. And the um and the PS the uh, PS the Pinellas um, County mobile adoption bus like I said for the animals but also the Pinellas um, the Pe Pinellas I'm sorry the Pasco County Sheriff's Office is going to have their missing children unit out there which I might mean they're oh. going to be doing fingerprints and things like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. So there's going to be a lot of things to tie this community yeah. into that. It's and then so again, amazing. And you roll right from that Saturday into the whole business development week right. and then next Wednesday the that expo that Victoria's been working so hard on ties everybody right back in and you get back-to-back -back power. And you know, this is what I was talking about, is the communities coming together, the chambers coming together. You guys, I'm assuming you had to coordinate all this so that you aren't overlapping because you're go this is the perfect segue yes. into the business week next week. Yeah, and here's what's so funny. Debbie Dawson says to me on, the, on a telephone conversation, did somebody tell you what our theme was this year? And I said, no, why? Well. Their theme, and that's why Debbie and I were kinder sent ourselves kindred spirits. Their theme was moving along with a recipe for success. And I said, that's absolutely wonderful because we're not only tying that what's your recipe for success into business development week, that's going to be our ongoing recipe and our own ongoing theme for the entire 2015 year. See, and that is my perfect segue to give a little promo for our new show, Please. which is going to be Biz Mix TV. Hello. Talk to us about that because we're Bi really excited to hear about I'm that. I'm telling you, that's gonna. we're hoping to launch that in February. And uh, you know what? This whole recipe for success, we had to come up with something that would just you know, integrate with all the recipes. So BizMix TV is basically going to be where you can come in and actually purchase your own time slot, whether it be a 12 minute segment, a half hour, or a whole entire show. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yours truly can host it for you, or we can teach you how to host it yourself. So that's gonna be launching in February. We are rocking and rolling here in 2015. Barb, I don't mean to turn around and interview you, but from oh, your, please from, do. From your, pers from your perspective on doing this, 
a, a show like that, what, what impact will that have for a business that comes on? I would think that it would have a huge impact, and that's why I love doing this, because it's a, di it's a different spin, it's a different little twist. Nobody, to our knowledge as of yet, has been doing anything quite like what we're doing here at Tampa Bay Multimedia. And as you know, my background is in television. I used to host for the Home Shopping Network, and I, from my heart of hearts, right down to the pit of my soul, feel very strongly that there's no difference making a business, a service shine just like you can make the products shine. When you have the right content, you have the right business, product, and service, and you find that very special sweet spot to deliver to the audience so that you can visit like Dulcet. Did yes. I say it correctly? You said it correctly. I can't yeah. wait. I have not oh. seen this. I can just. I can see them doing a show or a segment, going out there and filming their restaurant and what they have to offer. I, you know, I think I will something love, like and this. And that would be something. They would love yeah. to do something yeah. like that. The other thing that we had talked about before mm -hmm. is as this community starts to grow, and we firm belief that it grows with the cultural arts. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can put a show together with Absolutely. the Suncoast Harmony Chorus, and we've got, believe it or not, there's actually a Ritchie Symphony Orchestra, which I don't think a lot of people knew about. So. You've got a lot of things that are right yes, there, right here, and that are just it's it's just it's just bubbling and waiting to go to boil over, and that's what's so exciting. I know. Do you do you feel that most people, because you are like the man around town here, you are? Um, do you find that people would prefer to stay in their own community when they're when they're going out to be entertained or going to dinner, as opposed to driving miles and miles? There's no question about that because if you think, I know. I'll give you a perfect example. I, when, when I came down to visit my sister years ago that lived in Plantation, which mm -hmm. is west of Lauderdale, mm -hmm. I was going to meet somebody in Plantation, and, or in Lauderdale, and she said, well, that's 20 minutes away. Why are you going to drive that far? <laughs> so exactly. people down here are used to staying in their communities. Yes. And Newport Ritchie, Pat, West Pasco is a community that, like I said, is on the between the things that are going on with the Bayou Business Association, with the Guild Dogs and the Hooters and the Catches, with everybody coming together going, what can we do to get our community from here to here? And you're doing it. And it's, and it's happening yeah. as a unit. And that's yeah. what's so exciting about yeah. it. And then you take something like you and John are doing with Tampa Bay Multimedia and, mm -hmm. and giving the businesses a chance to come on and say, this is what we're about. This is we're not we not only provide mm -hmm. this, but this is what we provide to our community. Exactly, and I mean, my chamber TV. Uh, we launched this. It'll be a year this spring. Really. And um, John and I are still getting along, so it must be a good <laughs> marriage here, I guess. <laughs> But we we give us with one another. I know, right? Oh, Delin and I are like yeah. this. Trust me. That makes you his TV yeah. wife. Right? Yeah, we joke about that, right? But it is. It's, we have a lot of fun, and I made a promise to myself and my family that I'm not doing anything anymore that isn't more fun and and more. Uh, service oriented where I can give back and take what I have been blessed with and share with others and and I really do love this and I know you love doing what you're doing yeah. I mean you're with the Pes uh, West Pasco you've been with them as a membership director for a while now haven't uh, you actually believe it or not it's only been going on at the end of this month it's only been about seven months really but I've been, oh, you, I've yeah. been involved with the chamber. I yeah. was actually, um, you had you had Candace. I was actually going to be the next um, chairman of the board for the West Pasco Chamber, mm -hmm. but decided, as my wife said, you do it anyways, you might as well do it for the chamber. So that's, and, and it was a good fit. It was, yeah. a, it was a great fit and yeah. just having a blast doing it. But you know what? We, the, the whole organization from the, from the, from Chip to um, Lauren St. Martin, who's our events and marketing, to Michelle Anderson, to our to our executive board, which includes as you, you had the chairman of the board, Candace Gluen, the, yep. the next one in line, Miss my buddy, Miss Victoria Barley. You've got everybody working on the same page, and that's what's so exciting. We're all going in the same direction, and we're tying it into the community, all going in the same direction. See, and you make it so much fun. Business should be fun. It should. It shouldn't be a drudgery. Like, I have to go to work today. What am I going to do? Where am I going to get my customers? You know what? Join your chamber. We're talking about West Pasco today. Of course, it is one of our passions. You guys are great about coming on the show. And you know what? This is how we become part of the community as well as getting out there. And now you guys will go out 
and tell what your experience was on My Chamber TV. You'll be sharing about Bismix TV as well yes. and sharing what we're going to be doing with that. And it, it's just all going to be fun. Can you even imagine how this is going to continue to grow? Yes, it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. And 2015 is just the start, and that's what's so exciting. And when you've got, the, like I said, when you have the leadership like Chip Wickmanowski, who's the mm -hmm. president, Candace Gluen, who's the the chairman of the board, and, and Victoria Barley, who's the chairman-elect of the board, when you have that kind of manpower slash women power behind you, when you have that kind of people power, everybody on the same page, it's going to be a blast. I tell it's you, be a blast. it really, really is. Now, I know we're winding down. We have uh, a few minutes left. What else can we share about what else is coming up in the community? The, and I know these girls are going to be on in, on the first week in February, but I'd be remiss if we didn't. We mentioned Dulcet. Let's talk about what the young professionals for the West Pasco Chamber have coming up. They're oh. going to be doing their Sleek and Sleek Sexy. And sexy. Sleek and Sexy event. We're hosting it at Dulcet. Yes. They're hosting it at Dulcet. It is going to be absolutely a blast. It is $35 for a single and $60 for a couple. That's pretty good. But if you've, I want to tell you something. If you've not had or tried the food, because it, it's going to include the appetizers, their chef over at Dulcet is a gentleman by the name of Paul Sims who came from a couple of Wolfgang Puck's restaurants in Orlando. Oh, boy. If you remember back in the day, he was also the chef down at the Black Swan, I found out, mm. down at the Reuben Icott Center. Nice. His food is absolutely phenomenal. So this is going to be an evening. Wow. It's going to be open for us from 6 o'clock for, for, this, for this event, from 6 o'clock till 10. And we need the date. And the date is February 12th. Okay. And it's going to be, and that's also Thursday night, so that's their Latin night. So at 10 o'clock when the doors open, they're going to have, whether it's a band or a DJ, it's all it's Latin music all uh -oh. night long, which you know is uh -oh. absolutely a blast. Exactly. <laughs> but in the meantime, during that period, they'll have this sexiest shoes contest, sexiest legs contest, sexiest hair contest, sexiest eyes contest. I even found out just recently that one of their new sponsors is Lamborghini of Sarasota. So nice. these kids are really having a blast putting this nice. function together. Nice. Oh, that is. And that, it's going to be so know, much I fun. I love to see the young professionals engaging into the chamber with the seasoned members, <laughs> if you will. Yes. Did you like how I said yeah. that? <laughs> seriously seasoned. <laughs> seriously? Oh, there's a, there's seasoned and then seriously, the seriously seasoned. Is yeah. the seriously seasoned? Is that where we yeah, would be? No, that's where I would be. Is the seriously <laughs> no, I would seasoned. be there too. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it is. And when we recombine this to 21 to 40, I know there were some people nervous. But you know what? If you don't get, as I say, if you don't get the people like myself who when somebody says, will you do this? I say yes. And my wife would say, just say no. But if you don't, if you, they're going to be our age before they get to do anything. So it's, True. and they've got great ideas. Yes. They're sharp. Yes. They're, they're mobile. And it's, it's, it's fun to watch them and say, hey, here it is. Run with it. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. And they've got all that energy to really, you know, again, I mean, their brains are still like sponges at that time. And yep. they, they're wanting to go and grow and, and develop their business. And, and I mean, what better way than, like when we started, I don't know about you, but way back in the day, yep. did we have things like this? Really? I don't Not that I remember. I, don't I worked remember. for a company where the sales force itself was was very young. Yeah. But I don't remember chambers or young professionals I or anything like that. I don't either. I mean, I started working at a bank, and even when I was doing real estate 20, 25 years ago, um, I don't remember. I don't remember this fellowship. This, no. this oneness. I keep wanting to call this a oneness because you all come together as one and you make things happen. Yep. Whatever it is, what what, whatever you've got to do. I mean, the dedication, I'm really, really impressed. I, I truly am with what everybody does. And, and uh, the, there's a lot of charities that go on that you guys get involved with as well. And it's just, Look, it's there's just groups, amazing. There's groups of people I know that are around that are the same, but you will never meet a finer better group of people, businesses, just in general, mm -hmm. than in, in the Pas West Pasco County area. I it's, mean, they are just, as you've learned from the I dancing have. with the local stars and stuff, they're just, they're, they're people with big hearts. I had no idea. And the thing is, is that you don't have, like, the people working with just one venue or one charity. You guys overlap. Yeah. 
I mean, you're you're all over the place. Yeah. You're over here working on this charity, and then you're over here, and it's like it's just like one big happy family. And just so people that are watching this don't misunderstand, it's not that we don't make mistakes. We do, mm -hmm. but we what I call we do that we try we try, fail, adjust, exactly, and then try again. Well, hey, aren't we all living life with learning lessons? It's like a continuous, you I my, know. I have my five SWs. I, I say some will, some won't, so, so what? what? Stop whining and start working. That's a good one. There's a good recipe. There you go. Very good. There you what go. do you think of our show? I love this show. We're still at it. I love this show. Yes, you are. And, and for all good reason, because you give people the platform they need to, again, build their community, build their businesses, and that's what it's about. It's about joining a chamber of commerce, whether it be the West Pasco. If you have a business out there that you would like to get to the next level, try checking out your chamber of commerce. Join more than one. You're going to find that once you get involved, that things will start changing for you. You heard some of our testimonials today. I mean, Victoria, in a very short amount of time, her business was booming. Yep. Candace, of course, what another sweetheart, very successful in the community. And you know what? Everybody that we interview seems to like stay put. I mean, you guys have been with the community and, and the chamber and the different just the different venues for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a reason for that. Yeah, there is. One word, success. Yes. Well. And, and, and second word would be fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we do have a lot of fun, don't we? We do. So anything else you want to share in the last two minutes before we say our goodbyes? I'm, I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Oh, yeah, we know yeah. you're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're, again, please make sure that you let people know about Business Development Week, let them know about the Expo on Wednesday, let them know about those classes that are being offered that yes. are so, so vital to help them with their small businesses. And let's not forget this Saturday from 10 to 3, there's going to be a, a, you get to meet, come out, meet some of your county commissioners. I'm telling you, not only that, and, but. And uh, this Adrian Ray. Adrian Ray, he is pretty hot. I got to tell you, he is. <laughs> 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 and he might play some good music, too. There you go. There so, you go. And it's for the kids, too, so the it, kids will come out and have a blast. Absolutely. We're going to have a great time this Saturday and all next week so if you want to get your business to the next level attend these events if you can't attend all of them at least attend a few of them or even at least one because you will have a takeaway i promise you that paul you're a delight so we're, thank we're you getting, we're getting cute we're getting cute come, come tell us somebody, what you're cueing us come on what, come on out this here is, we're relaxed tell us what you're cueing we're, us we're ready there, to say goodbyes what, what do you want us to say we just want to thank our sponsors that yes. um, help oh, come. our week and we couldn't do this without our sponsors of Duke Energy, the Tampa Bay Times, Mid Florida Credit Union, the Newport, City of Newport Ritchie, Bright House Network, Pasco Economic Development Council, SCORE, and the many others that have sponsored. But we really do appreciate all their sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Thanks for being with us here at My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community.